Today we are going to change this to something glowy with some tricks in the free Snapseed app. Watch the full video on how to get precise selection and add glow effects. We are going to start with selecting the main subject so that we don't need to repeat these steps again and again going further into editing. We'll be using curves mainly during this process. So going to curves and applying it without any tuning. Now to the masking screen. Tapping on this tax icon, view edits, curves and the brush icon. Here we're going to brush on this elk or deer whatever you want to call it to get its selection. You can toggle the eye icon to see the red mask. Need to zoom in to brush on the edges for precise selection. In case you overdo it, just set the brush value to zero and erase it. This is a one time process. We'll speed this up and get back to you. We have made the selection here. Note that you can also invert the selection when you toggle this icon. Applying it. Tapping on this three dot menu and selecting copy. This is an important step which you will need later. Now to the tune image menu. I'm going to increase the shadows to get more details out of the darker areas of the subject. Also few selective filters. One in the shadows to make it more brighter. One on the reddish fur to lower the saturation. and one in the blue sky. Reducing the saturation and also the brightness. Now going to stacks and view edits, I'm going to delete the original curves effect with masking which we don't need now. and insert the same on top which we had already copied. Now tuning the curves by lifting the blacks and crushing the whites. Now to the masking screen. I'm going to tap the invert icon to invert the selection. Now the effect is only applied on the parts other than the subject. Tuning the masking a bit around the middle to remove haze and the bottom to get more haze around the feet. Inserting curves again. This time brightening the image more. In the masking screen, removing the effect at the bottom. Now you can see the background with fog effect. Again inserting curves, this time darkening the image and adding some yellow tones by bringing down the blue curve.
adding redstone to going to masking screen adding those stones to the bottom part of the elk so that it looks more natural adding one more darkening effect to apply it on the background one more effect to darken the parts of the subject now to get the glow on the horns brightening and adding orange stones going to masking screen removing the effect with different levels of transparency on the head taking time here to get the masking right so that there is also this glow effect on the face and the body too now brightening the highlights further also adding some reds this time in the masking screen we'll be applying this effect only around the middle parts of the horns so that it looks like the glow is coming from the center of the horns We'll add an effect to add some ambient light around the horns. You could also skip a few steps to get to the desired result, but I'm making subtle edits here and there to make it look better. adding more haze to get a dreamy look darkening the image a bit adding vignette with the vintage filter
Now adding some artistic touch. Using double exposure, adding this image with bokeh with light and mode selected. Reducing the opacity for a subtle effect. Resizing the image and placing it around the glowy parts. Some masking work. Adding the same effect again, this time with a little more opaqueness for an interesting effect. One more effect to brighten the top part of the subject. And a little ambient light around. The final result here. Hope you found some useful tricks for you all to try and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.